Hey everyone, this is Paul with Power Pucks. Today we're going to do a retrofit with a Minn Kota Altera just to show you how easy it is to convert from the existing quick release bracket over to the Power Pucks quick release bracket. So let's get started. So here we are, we've got the trolling motor off and what you see here is the RTA 17 quick release deck puck fastened here. Now the power pucks is going to fit right into these same holes so you don't have to worry about drilling any other holes. All we're going to do is put one wire hole right under here, connect it to the batteries and you're going to have a powered puck. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray the parameter of this deck puck with D-Bond. That's going to loosen the bond between the puck and the, the marine caulking that's around here. So we just spray this around the parameter. After you spray this, you're going to want to let that sit for about five minutes. All right, now we're just going to simply remove the screws. So sometimes a scraper tool will make it easier to get up underneath this thing to break it off. Um, that debond will loosen it up pretty well, but uh, I like to take a regular putty knife and just sharpen it down, and then I finish it off with 400 grit sandpaper. So it's almost like a razor blade, and it's very—it uh, doesn't scratch the non-skid on the boat if you're very careful with it. Alright, as you can see, this puck was glued down very good, well, um, had a nice uniform layer of caulking on there to hold it on, so we're going to use our friend D-Bond to loosen that up and make it easier to get that off the boat and clean it up a little bit. And then we're just going to let that soak again. So now we've let this sit for a couple minutes and we're going to see, you can see it's starting to get loose now, let's see if we can get that off of that non-skid. Alright, next step is we're going to take a short cut off paint brush is what I like to use. That creates stiff little bristles and I'll show you that in a minute. And we're going to use that, those stubby little bristles to try to get all that cleaned off of there. Alright, so what I like to do is take just a regular disposable paint brush and take a scissors and you can use that to cut these bristles down until they're nice and short and stiff. They're very small and they'll get in every little pore and that's going to help us finish off the clean up of this. This is a little bit of uh, denatured alcohol right here something mild. Now it's important not to push too hard or these bristles will fold over and the tips of the bristles won't get down in there and uh, do their job. Okay, as you can see that debond helped us loosen up all the caulking that was holding that puck down here and it allowed us to clean it up without damaging the non-skid. Uh, very important to try not to damage that non-skid and make a mess out of that. And so the Dubon helped us do that. Let's open the box and locate the hardware package. So now that we've located the hardware package, the next step is to remove the side panels of the trolling motor. Two screws on each side. set that aside. Okay, so now that we've removed the deck puck, we've located our hardware package, it's time to remove the original bracket from the trolling motor. Getting these six screws right here and using this wrench to get the nuts on the inside. Okay, so now we've got the original bracket removed from the Altera, but because this is a deep Altera, we had to go ahead and plug it back into the battery and do the deploy so that we can access this housing right here. And then to access the, this housing, we loosen these two screws. I don't have to do it that far. Okay, now that we have the old original bracket off of here, we're ready to go ahead and put the new 
power pucks on there using the same holes, same slots, but we got the new hardware that was in the hardware kit along with the nuts and the backing washers. We're just going to line these six holes up right with those. With the wires facing the back. Now that we have the power pucks bracket tightened on with all six screws to the trolling motor, it's time to cut the cord. So let's do that. We're going to cut the cord. We're going to measure it out here from where it's sticking out here. Measure it with these two wires and we're going to cut it right there. Now we've cut the cord. We've got the length that we want right here. Now we're going to split these two wires apart from each other. We're going to get them started with this little snipping tool. And just pull those apart well, about three inches to give yourself some room to get the heat shrink on there now we separated our wires we're going to go ahead and we're going to strip three-eighths of an inch of this insulation off the top okay now next step very important make sure you put your heat shrink jackets on the wires before you crimp these ends together or you're not going to be able to get these on so slide those up in here, get them out of the way. Just like so. Here's my, my crimpers that I like to use right here. You can use a large variety of them, but with this particular hydraulic one, I like to get it on the butt splice first and tighten down on that so it stays in place. So just kind of tighten it down to hold it in place, just like that. Then we can stick our black wire right in there and crimp her down. So we're going to do the same exact step here with the red wire. Get that tightened down in there. All right, so now we got our crimps tightly, nice and secure. We're gonna put the heat shrink jackets over there one by one and go ahead and heat those down. Get it right in about 50% is covered on each side here. Okay, so we've got our butt splice right in the middle so that we've got equal coverage on both sides and then we're gonna start heating that up. Keep this going until you see the adhesive that's inside start to bleed out the end. So you can see here that adhesive inside this heat shrink has oozed out over the sides and made this a watertight connection. Right? So now we're going to do the other wire and follow the same steps. All right, we're all sealed up here. Now we're going to go ahead and tuck these wires up inside here and make it look pretty. So I'm just start pulling these wires up, get those inside here. Just like so. And while we're at it, if you don't plan on using that accessory foot pedal wire right there, you often see these things flopping around on someone's deck. While we're trying to clean things up, let's get rid of that too. As you can see, we had plenty of room to bring all that extra wire up in here. There's plenty of room. We've allowed some extra wire in case you ever had to make another connection. You don't have to worry about running out of wire. We've got plenty here underneath this little housing. So you'll remember when we removed this retainer, I said go ahead and throw that little screw away reason is it's going to be too short now because we've got a little bit thicker wires coming in here so we're going to flip this upside down it used to be going this way we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to use that longer screw that was in your hardware kit that one sole screw it's going to go in there like that and that's going to be just perfect for this Okay, now when we put this cover back on there, this is the only little bit of wire that you're going to be able to see from the helm of the boat. Nothing to trip on, no eyesores, 
just a cleaner look. Now it's time to reinstall the cover. So you'll notice here that we've got a tag that says do not pull wires, see instructions. Now the instructions are, you pull this pin, you stick that pin in here, now pull that pin just out a little bit, and just give her a yank, and that'll get your puck out of there. So don't pull the wires. So we're using our drill hole template now to locate the mounting holes and the wire hole. And we do that by puncturing a little hole through here, marking these. Puncture a hole in there. Okay, so you see now we've got our our bolt holes here and our wire hole all marked. Now it's time to start drilling. Now with this wire hole, you don't necessarily have to go down at a 90 degree angle. Say your hole design is different, you're uh, worried about maybe not getting it back inside the hole. You can go in an angle, and that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to go down and then angle back. And this is just a pilot hole for now. And then we're going to follow up with the spade bit. So what we did, we had a tight compartment up in here, so we used an actual metal coat hanger, straightened it out, drilled our wire hole, fished the wire coat hanger, hanger up into the uh, compartment and put a little, small little pencil magnet on the end of the string until we found that and we were able to pull our wires back up through here. So now that we got our wires, we're going to repeat the process of crimping the uh, two wires together with the deck puck and uh, seal them up with heat shrink and we'll put this thing on the deck. All right, so we're all connected to the battery. Connections are sealed up. Now we're gonna go ahead and mount it to the boat. We're gonna use some Boat Life Life Seal caulking. We're gonna go around all these holes in this hole here, seal it up good, and uh, screw it down. Let's do it. As you can see, we've got ample caulk. It's squeezing out all the way around. Now we're just going to clean it up. I like to use a wooden tongue depressor. Cut it off with a razor knife. Makes a nice tool to get started. You get the bulk of this off of there. And then when we're done cleaning all this caulk off the best we can get it with the tongue depressor, we'll hit it with a clean rag and some denatured alcohol and that'll get the rest of it up nice and clean. Well, all right, we've got the bracket attached to the trolling motor. We've got the puck mounted to the boat. We're right up to the battery. We now have a powered puck. Let's slide it on and see how it works. Voila, we're powered up. 